welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another quest video. This one's going to be Karen's Latte of Gratitude. For this one, you need to create a Grumpkin Spice Latte and deliver it to Karen. Now I'm going to go into Barney's Bazaar to show you the recipe. At the back, there's a Pixpresso stand where you could create the Grumpkin Spice Latte. Here, you'll need 12 orange Grumpkin, 12 blue Grumpkin, 6 hot Tatoes, 3 Java Pots, and 1 Cow Milk. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that I have videos on how to get the cow milk, the java pot, and the grumpkins. The last item I needed was a hot tato. Thanks to a tip from Krause who owns land 2609, he was able to tell me that you need to own an NFT land in order to farm your own hot tato. He also gave tips on how to create the hot tato once you do that farming. A lot of us don't own NFT farmland, so I'm going to have to buy the hot tato from the marketplace. That being said, I did speak to Krause and he did let me know that his farmland will be open until April 8th, which is when the chapter 2 update's going to happen. If you need a water farmland to use until that date, feel free to come to his farm to use a soil. He also has 4 mines and 1 chicken coop here. As I mentioned in one of my recent videos, you could leave your items here, but you'll likely lose them after the guild update. If you're interested in joining his guild, it's called Vietnam Vodich. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, I'll put the spelling in my video. Regardless, I'll be using his land for about the next two weeks until I decide if I'm gonna create or join a guild. Now I'm gonna get the hot tato from the marketplace. Go to the buy tab and type in hot and then click the hot tato. Here I'm going to buy the six hot tatoes I need to complete this quest. At the time of my video it costed me 225 coins to buy each hot tato. And here's the description of the hot tato. It's as hot and spicy, good for cooking and selling. As I mentioned, I have videos on how to create the grumpkins, but here I have some left over, so I have them in my storage chest. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my inventory. I'm missing a couple of grumpkins, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy those from the marketplace as well to speed up the time. If you do have a lot of time and energy, you could go ahead and buy the grumpkin seeds from Bucks Galore, which is very cheap, it's just about 18 coins. And then of course you just plant them at a farm, water them, water them again and then you'll come back in a few hours to harvest those. In the interest of time and for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the blue grumpkin from the marketplace. They're fairly cheap and at the time of this video, they're just 178 coins per grumpkin. Now I have the 6 hot tato, the cow milk, the orange grumpkin, and the blue grumpkin to make the latte. Now I'm back at Barney's Bazaar, and I just realized I forgot to grab the java pod from my storage at the post office. I'm going to go get those now, but if you need to know how to make the java pod, just check out my other YouTube video. Back at the post office, I'm going to quickly grab those java pods. Here, I'm dragging them into my inventory. Back at Barney's Bazaar, I'm going to click the Pixpresso stand and click Grumpkin Spice Latte. And here you'll see I have all the ingredients to make that latte. 12 orange Grumpkin, 12 blue Grumpkin, 6 hot Tatoes, 3 Java Pods, and 1 cow milk. After making the drink, you'll also receive 350 XP towards your beverage master skills. It'll take about 5 minutes to craft this latte. Aside from making this item for the quest, you could also use it as an energy drink. I don't know how much energy it'll actually give you though. Another use case for making this item is to sell it at the marketplace. While it'll take a lot of time, energy, and coins to make the Grumpkin Spice Latte, if you do make it, you could sell it at the marketplace for a pretty penny. Here, you'll see that it's listed for 15,498 coins. You tell me if that's worth it. Now that the 5 minutes are up, I'm going to go ahead and collect the Grumpkin Spice Latte and then deliver it to Karen. Once you click collect, it'll show up in your inventory. 
you'll also see here that my beverage master skills went up to level 7. As you level up in the game, you'll unlock some more items to create or more things to do. The description says this seasonal delight is a deliciously irresistible treat reminiscent of autumn at its finest. Sip for energy. Finally, we're going to go next door to Karen and Dale's house and we're going to give the latte to Karen. The other item that unlocks when you complete this quest is that she'll give you a recipe to complete a dozen grumpkin spice lattes all at one time. Now the quest is finally complete. Here, I'll give you a glimpse of what that recipe is to create a dozen grumpkin spice lattes. All of the ingredients, XP and time is equal to if you were to create one at a time. So I think the only thing this is saving you is the fact that you don't have to come back and click create and collect 12 times. As always, if you thought this video was helpful, please smash the like button leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you on the next one.